Hey guys, Max here from Australian Vaporizers, and today we're going to be talking about the best portable vapes yet again. So it's only been about 7 months since the release of our top 5 portables video, but since then there's been a fair few new releases which have really mixed things up. It's always been a bit tricky just to rank them generally, so the format's going to be different this time around. Instead of a basic leaderboard, we've got a bunch of separate categories with a winning unit for each one. The categories we've got lined up so far are as follows. Budget, Stealth, Battery Life, Ease of Maintenance, and of course, Performance. Now there's a fair bit of stuff to go through, so each of these categories will be released as a separate video over the next few weeks. Today we'll be starting with the budget section, hope you guys enjoy. Price is obviously a huge factor for most people who are shopping around for a vape. These days, there are heaps of options for people who don't want to mortgage their house just to be able to afford one, which is great. But where's the balance point between price and performance? For the purposes of this section, I drew the line at $200 Australian, which isn't terribly cheap, but it definitely still falls within the lower end of the entire price range. The Boundless CF was released alongside its bigger brother, the CFX. If you're interested in the CFX and you haven't seen my full review of it, feel free to check it out. Essentially, the layout of these two vapes is very similar to that of the Crafty and Mighty by Stores and Bickle. The CF, like the Crafty, is just a smaller version of the premium model with less battery life and limited temperature control options. The CF uses a five-stage preset temp system, which is usually enough for most people. Easy to use, super fast heat up times, and identical vapor production to the CFX, which I'm a huge fan of. On top of that, the chamber is massive, yet somehow manages to maintain efficiency when you're using tiny amounts of material. Very impressed. I was surprised to see that the CF's battery life is actually pretty similar to that of the CFX. I guess this is mainly due to the lack of LED screen. So if temperature control isn't really a massive priority for you, the CF is definitely a great option. The only thing that I don't really like about the CF is the taste, or at least initially. For this reason, I do recommend doing an extensive burn off on the highest temperature before you use the vape for the first time. At any rate, the taste influence will dissipate after a few uses, so it's not that big of a deal. So overall, this is a great little unit for the price. If you're after a good balance of performance and portability, then the CF is definitely my favourite option under $200 Australian. Just want to give a quick honourable mention here to the Flowmate V5 Pro. This unit took number 5 in our last Best Portables video, and it's still one of my favourites. It just lacks the vapour production and overall efficiency offered by the Boundless CF. So there we have it, the best budget vapes, in my opinion at least. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them at us via the box below. Next week we're going to be going over the stealth factor, so if you're looking for something super discreet and pocket friendly, definitely keep an eye out for that one. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe. This is Max from Australian Vaporizers. Have a good one guys.